Hi, it's Katie and Jim with Finn's Frog Farm. We want to give you an update on the Borneo eared tree frog egg nest that was laid. It's been 10 days since they laid the eggs. And if you can see, we've been spraying it. The last clutch of eggs we've had, they were dropping tadpoles on day eight and 10. So we're a little nervous right now that they may not have been fertilized. So sometimes a female will lay eggs to, so she's not egg bound. Other times she'll lay eggs um, without a male on top of her. It's just an unfortunate event and we wish that it didn't happen. But um, we kind of think that that may have been what happened because the nest separated from the other leaf and when we flipped it over we can see a lot more unfertilized eggs on the back you can look if you try to zoom in here kind of as the nest becomes a little bit more transparent you can see that there's eggs in there too that aren't developing and one of the telltale signs that i'm looking for not only is timeline as katie talked about and uh, i'm not seeing anything moving on the outside or wiggling or shimmering yeah, on the last nest, we could see dark movement inside, and so those you could see the tadpoles moving through the outside of the nest. And I think that, you know, Katie alluded to it earlier, but, you know, this is something that does happen. So, you know, frogs will lay eggs outside of amplex. Frog, dart frogs will lay eggs without them getting fertilized. And I think it's just a, something that's not talked about enough in the hobby. Um, we always want... Oh, we just dropped something. <laughs> we, um, that's bloopers for Finn's Frog Farm. But we, we always want to talk about the successes and we celebrate all those successes. But I think there is something to be said to lean into some of those things that do happen that I don't know if I'd even call them failures. I think they just happen, but they need to be talked about. Because when it's happening to you, you feel like it's the only one that it's happening to and that nobody else in the hobby is, has those struggles. But it does happen and it happens to all of us that have been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So we're going to give this the weekend um, before we kind of toss out the eggs and call it a, a scratch and hopefully they will lay again in the rain chamber. So see you next time.